What's up friends? Today some of the people in charge of the development of Diablo 4 held a live stream that they called a campfire chat in which they wanted to candidly address some of the feedback that they've been receiving from players as well as share some of the things that they've been working on in response to that feedback. My name is Waluko and today we're going to go over what's coming up in Diablo 4. First of all, the developers acknowledged that there have been a lot of hotfixes since the release of the game, and people have been feeling pretty down about the nerfs to various farming spots and classes. But Diablo community manager Adam Fletcher had with him on the stream a 13-page stack of paper that contained numerous changes coming to the game in an upcoming major patch. They announced that Nightmare Dungeons will be getting buffed to give more experience. Next up, they confirmed that Season 1 will in fact come out in mid to late July, so sometime in the next four to six weeks from the publishing of this video. They specified that when the season comes out, if you make a new character in the season, you will not have to rediscover areas of the map that you've already been to, and you will also retain the renown for exploring those areas. You will not have to go reactivate the Lilith statues, neither for their bonuses nor their renown, because you will automatically be given the renown for those statues that you've activated in each zone. So it looks like the renown grind in further seasons will consist of strongholds, waypoints, dungeons and side quests. So there is still going to be some stuff that we have to regrind, but two of the most tedious things to grind for Renown will no longer have to be redone. They did not announce anything specifically coming in Season 1, but they did announce several changes that they wanted to make to the game before Season 1, as well as some changes that they wanted to make to the game, but probably would not be able to release until Season 2 at the earliest. So first things first, the changes that are coming before Season 1 are... First of all, they noted that some players had reached the arbitrary cap on certain materials, so they announced that they will be raising that cap, though a number was not specified. Next, they announced that the loot caches from world bosses will no longer drop with a level requirement above your character's level, though the developers did say that those caches may drop gear that has a higher level requirement than you can wear, but at the very least you'll be able to open the cache, get whatever resources or gems are in there, and see if you like the gear that comes out of it, so you can decide whether or not to hold on to it or get rid of it. Up next, the developers announced that they would fix the loot table for druids, which is currently dropping uniques that should only be attainable for barbarians. So once that fix comes out, druids should see more appropriate loot for their classes. And as a druid main myself, I'm quite happy about that. But probably the most exciting change that they announced in this entire live stream was that they're working on adding functionality to nightmare sigils that will allow players to teleport either to the front of the dungeons or into the dungeons once the sigils are activated. They did say that that's going to be a very major change, so it may not be very fast, but they seemed confident when they said they wanted to get it into the game before the release of Season 1. So that should make a lot of Nightmare Dungeons much more efficient to run just by simply removing the travel time, since some of them are so far away from waypoints or towns. But those are all the changes they wanted to announce coming before Season 1. Next up are the changes that should be coming out around the time of Season 2. There were only a couple of those, but they were pretty major. First, they announced that some adjustments were going to be made to resistance calculations, so that resistance modifiers on gear would be a little more useful than they currently are. Next up, they announced that they wanted to add disconnect protection in hardcore in the form of Scrolls of Escape. For those that don't know what a Scroll of Escape is, it's basically a consumable item that only drops in hardcore that acts as an instant town portal to get yourself out of any dangerous situations. But the way they said they wanted it to work is that if you're playing hardcore and you disconnect, if your character has a scroll of escape on them, then the game will automatically consume one of those scrolls of escape and teleport you back to town. So that way there's no chance of anything killing you while you don't have control of your character. And the last but certainly not least change that they announced is that sometime around Season 2, gems will be added to the material tab of your character rather than taking up inventory or stash space. So we'll no longer have to have an entire row of our inventories dedicated to those gems, nor will we have the big stash tab full of all the colors of the rainbow just to hold our gems. That concludes everything they announced. If you want to watch the full stream for yourself, you can find the link to it in the description, or you can find it on the official Diablo YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.